Greetings everyone, I am Adas and today we will be doing a Minecraft tutorial, but not just any kind of tutorial. We are going to be doing some stuff on new blocks. So without further ado, let us begin this little um, explanatory thing about um note block tutor er, nah, not note block tutorial um about note blocks. So the first thing I want to talk about is what is a note block? Well, it is a block looks like this, kind of cute, kind of tech. Its texture is interesting. Um, but basically, you put this block down. You put this block down. Put a power source of some kind, and you click it. And it creates a really interesting sound. Now the note block is capable of creating about 25 different tones or notes. So the first sound that the note block makes is F sharp or G flat in the musical world. And all of this is in the key of C. And, and that is because the key of C is probably the one key that you'll be using most if you are a musician. So if you are a band person, well, sorry, but I ain't gonna be doing anything with that kind of stuff. Anyway, so a sharp or G flat, and that is one tick, and it makes that sound. Um, and ticks, by the way, is just when you hit the note or hit something, um, redstone-y of some kind and it changes it essentially kind of like the um the repeater this is one two three four eh, and no blocks are the same but they have more ticks they have 25 so um this is g and this is two ticks this is g sharp or a flat three ticks a four ticks a sharp, B flat, five ticks. B, six ticks. C, seven ticks. C sharp or D flat, eight ticks. D, nine ticks. D sharp, E flat, ten ticks. E, eleven ticks. F, twelve ticks. F sharp, G flat, thirteen ticks. G, fourteen ticks. G sharp or A flat, 15 ticks. A, 16 ticks. A sharp, B flat, 17 ticks. B, 18 ticks. C, 19 ticks. C sharp or D flat, 20 ticks. D, 21 ticks. D sharp or E flat, 22 ticks. E, 23 ticks. F, 24 ticks. And F sharp or G flat, 25 ticks. Now, you've probably noticed that when I was just going through these, that a few of those names repeated, and this is because those are called octaves. So, when you start here with the G, f or the G flat or F sharp, it is a rather low sound, but with the other F sharp or G flat, it's actually the same pitch per se, but it is in a different octave. And so you only have notes from A to G. Those that's as about as high as it goes. I guess G sharp technically, but you know, as far as the alphabet goes, it's A to G. Now if you're really curious and you have a piano at home, I'm going to show you what these would look like on that piano. So this is my lovely collection of my instruments here. I'm going to put this away. These are essentially the different kinds of pianos that you might have at your house. Um, and I will explain right now what each of these are going to be like. So, this brown piano is an upright baby grand or a grand piano. And this in purple is middle C. This is going to be 
essentially the center of your piano. And yeah, right here is all the notes that you can play with the um, note blocks essentially in the piano sound. Um, and I will talk about the different sounds that the note block can make in another video because you have a lot more instruments you can pick from essentially. But uh, yeah, so here your F sharps and G flats are generally, well not just those I suppose, but um, your sharps and flats are going to be these black keys here. And um, these pianos don't work. Um, you know, budget, whatever. I don't know. Um, <laughs> um, but yes, so this would be what the spectrum of notes on a note block would be on a grand piano, upright piano, or a baby grand piano. Um, this would be your traditional flat musical keyboard. Just the digital keyboard that someone in your house has. Maybe you, maybe your dad or your mom. I don't know. Um, and yeah. And here I actually have it marked um, with all the notes. But yeah. F sharp would be this black key. And the other F sharp would be this black key. So this is where it would be located if you had a, a just a digital keyboard. Now this is for those families that were posh enough to, or fancy enough, to get their kid a tiny piano. This is a red toy piano. <laughs> and um, it's probably less likely that you'd have one of these. But, turns out that the lowest note on the toy piano is C. It actually doesn't go beyond to F sharp. It actually doesn't have l the lower octave. It just has. It starts off with middle C, and yeah, it's kind of interesting. And it actually almost fits this whole piano. It's just missing two, four, six, six notes. So yeah this could be an an okay alternative if you want to figure it out like figure out a tune on the piano um I would definitely recommend the keyboard though it does it does have a lot more range but I mean if this is all you got like this is all you got so this is when you have absolutely nothing else in your house you do not have a piano of any kind this is probably the closest thing you have to a piano in your home and you stole it from your little sibling, or you stole it from your baby self. I don't know. But this, this is the toy xylophone baby piano for when you are a baby and you don't want your to destroy a piano, I guess. <laughs> um, this is not like the other pianos at all. Like, this is definitely last resort. And the last thing I'm going to show you is even more last resort. So, this does not have the normal scale. This has just the, like, kind of a random progression of notes. It's kind of disgusting. So, you start off with D, E, F sharp or G flat, and then G, and then A, and then C, and then D sharp or E flat, and F sharp and G flat. So it actually sounds pretty bad. And it, it's it's really hard. I, I guess it's somewhat easier to make music on than the one I'm about to show you next, but it's still pretty bad. Now, for the piece of resistance, is this one. Yep, this is the absolute last resort baby piano keyboard xylophone thing you will possibly have and it's this horrible thing this only has four notes and you can hardly play even play little lamb on it like merely had a little lamb like almost impossible to play on this um yeah c sharp f g sharp or a flat 
and C sharp and D or D flat. And I do have a working one. But just give me a second. So this is a working xylophone piano little Mike's house. <laughs> um, and this is just one I built. And I will show you how to build this in another episode if you want a cool looking beginner house. Or in another video, I should say. But this is this is how this little piano will probably sound if you have one. Now it's really hard to make a song with this. But it will probably be like this if you try to play Mary Had a Little Lamb. All right, let me try again. doesn't exactly sound like it. I mean, you can kind of pick up the tune, but it's it's not the same at all. But if this is all you have, by all means, you can pull something off. It may even get you to a decent start in your music career. So this is the little bit that I can teach you about note blocks for this little bit. Hopefully it will get you on a decent start to understanding the world of note blocks. In my next video I will um, talk about the different sounds that you can get from a note block and yeah and hopefully you'll, in you'll learn what you need to from that. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. Um, but until next time, I bid you all a farewell. Goodbye!